Hello, today we are going to see how we will install MongoDB as a container in our um, my Mac machine. So I, I have Docker already installed. So I am just running this command Docker uh, pull Mongo. It will pull the latest version. So I, it pulled the latest image to my local. So let's see what I will do next. So this is a command that I run and uh, now i need to run uh, with some parameters so basically i don't know the version right now so i'm just trying to run with this particular command let's see whether it's going to work or not okay so right now it works i'm just running with mongo mongodb mongo command so docker ps minus a so i have a container so if i am going here i have a container mongo docker entry point and uh, it's like created on 12 second app for 11 second so here so the docker yeah image for mongodb is running right now uh, how i will run uh, how i will go to the bash command so for mongodb i need to go to bash command to run some uh, execute something right so how i will do that so i know i'm just running this command okay so uh, yeah i mean uh, i'm in the bash command i mean executing environment right now so i can do the bash command here so i'm just mongo so i'm running that mongo so, so right now i need to show my dbs so there is an admin db config and local both are zero so i am going to create a new database here so use uh, something like corvis okay so right now I, I need to show all of my dbs yeah so right now nothing is there in my db so basically it will not show anything so i am going to insert some values So I need to create some collection. So uh, I'm going to create a collection here. People save one data ins install. So db dot people dot find. Yeah, it will find all the details. That's where we can do. So all I know. Uh, yeah, right now we are fine because uh, our environment is running right now. So Yeah, I'm exiting that one and uh, I need to exit to the Yeah, exit to the um, My my own bash right now, so So I got yeah it's still it's an app it's not going to down so we can use this one I mean probably we can use the endpoint also so this is the port number that I am assigned for that particular MongoDB instance so this is the best way to install MongoDB in our our Mac OS 
so that's all for today next uh, next day i will go further to the mongodb commands and that kind of things so today we only use the save commands probably some more commands available we will yeah, we will discuss that in next videos